All right, what is going on today, guys? Today we're gonna do a little video on, this is a 2016 Chevy 2500 LT. This is a 2017 Chevy 2500 LT. Uh, it's a Z71, it's a slight, tiny bit nicer. It does have the plow package. It has your cab lights, it's got your uh, hardwired in, it's got a switch, you can hardwire in a strobe without having to jimmy rig it. So I've had this truck for 10 months. I put a lot of miles on it, I put, like 35,000 miles on it, 35,000 um, plowing and pulling a skid loader and a mini excavator and enclosed trailers and pretty much everything you can think of in the summer. So it's been it's hard use. Overall, it's been an awesome truck. They both have about 110 ish thousand miles on them. Um, we're not to the point quite where we buy, buy brand new trucks around to 100 and sell them. It's a lot of guys do. We're at the point where we buy them at 100, run them to 200 and sell them. Eventually, we'll buy brand new trucks, but I'd rather have two for the price of one because two trucks, two plows, and you can make choices in the 20, and they're still newer, very reliable trucks. So that's where we're at right now. Eventually, we'll buy all new trucks. So, this one, this truck shows a little bit of wear, like right down here, like from when a guy getting out. Like, I always seem to like kind of drag my drag my leg off here, wears all the paint off. I mean, you put paint over it, that's whatever, but they make these little strips of like this little tape that you can put over there, might do someday, but. So this truck's seen some hard use. Uh, pulling, plowing, you name it, it's doing it. Uh, I had an accident the other day, I don't know, that guy's on Instagram, so you guys probably didn't. I got a trailer on here, a flatbed, and the trailer popped up. Just to clarify that on top, the latch was down and locked on the trailer, but underneath, the deal that goes around a ball didn't drop down and go all the way down around the ball. So when I drove a skid loader up onto the trailer, it popped up and then proceeded to hit the tailgate and snatch the tailgate, dented that. It does have a backup camera, which is super nice for hooking up trailers. Um, I know in some of my other videos, I was talking to one of my family members and they're like, yeah, you know, your review videos are great, but you know, what about all the specifications? I don't like going into specifications, like, you know, okay, this truck's 2,500, it's 33 feet long, four feet wide, you know, it, all you do is type in 2016 Chevy specs and it's all right there. So I don't like to go too in depth in the specs. I like to go into what we use it for, where it, where, what it works good for, what it doesn't. This truck pulls pretty, really good. It pulls a 8,000 pound skid loader and a 4,000 pound trailer, no problem. Um, coming around, I mean, other than that, it's pretty good. It does have, this, these newer trucks have the carpet liner underneath, which is super nice. It's uh, it's quiet. I mean, it's, it can be a pain to clean, but it's quiet at least. Um, it has these mirrors, or these lights on the back. Um, lights on it shining backwards, super nice for out plowing. This truck does have Wi-Fi and all that junk you don't need. The CBs in all the trucks, super nice. Um, this is a full crew cab, does have a fold up center console. Got some odds and ends in here, but uh, this is a full This is a full crew cab. The other one over here is a double cab, so the door's a little bit smaller. But yeah, and overall, this has been an awesome truck. It pulls really good, have had like no issues. It's got a little over 100,000 miles and haven't have had any, any issues with it. Um, the one thing I hate about Chevy trucks, that which I've found, have, yeah, like I said, I've had, I don't know, seven or eight Chevys. And the one thing I've noticed, we had 2009. I walked out, I walked out of my house one morning. I looked, and there was just much paint flaked off the, the fender. So I mean, that truck—it was a 10-year-old truck, but that's like a corner panel. All the paint flaked off. Look at this truck. This truck is three and a half years old, and I'm pressure washing. I'm like way out here, you know, paying pretty close attention. And all of a sudden, paint's flying all over the place, and they're right here, and then it's that much. And then, like, look at this paint is just flaking off right here. I mean, that's a joke. This truck's, of course, just out of warranty and it's three and, a, three and a half years old and the paint's just flaking up, so now I gotta get that fixed up. But, so, I love Chevy trucks. They're reliable, they're easy to get parts for. I mean, they look nice, they're super comfortable, nice to drive, but their paint is crap. Chevy, if you're watching this, you need to use better paint. Your paint's trash. I mean, look at this, you can see that the primer's right there, whatever, it just flakes off. I've seen it, other day I'm driving, sending a light, look over in like a 2012 truck, and all the paint's flaked off the fender. It's like, it's junk. So this is the one we just picked up. Uh, this is a double cab, so you can see this door is slightly smaller than the full crew cab. I mean, still, still enough room to get you know your average 100 to 150 pound dude in here. If you're over a buck fifty, it might be a little tight, but I mean, it's, it's good. It's a little bit shorter and for plowing, whatever. And this is a Z71, so it has a little, a little bit different interior. Um, overall, it's pretty similar. We got this compartment up here. We got the manual in it, but we really like this upper compartment for putting your seats in. Put your whatever in here, and then. So when you ever get your seats, put them in there so then, you know, they're up and out of the way. And center console, you know, all the all the bells and whistles. Um, it does have a tonneau cover, backup camera, nice. No dent in the tailgate yet, I'm sure there'll be one eventually. It's got this rubber mat, we'll probably just have a bed liner or whatever in there. 
Um, it hasn't, this truck hasn't been full much. We got it from a commercial commercial construction company in the city. It's a performance truck that we drove around. It's got uh, running boards, lights on the mirrors, blinkers on the mirrors, flex fuel. It's got uh, weather tech floor mats, power seats, you know, all the uh, all the fun stuff. So, yeah, we pull a lot in the summer with these trucks, and then we also plow. So, this truck is getting two, two goodies coming up. Putting a Western MVP3 on the front. Short iron, 16 foot, custom painted white pull plow on the back. We're getting that next Monday. Excited for that. But yeah, overall, I've uh, I've always ran a Chevy trucks. I'm brand loyal, color loyal, as you can see. I mean, they hold their value pretty well as long as you don't completely trash them. Um, so yeah, other than other than the paint, uh, I would. Uh, I mean, I'm still gonna keep buying Chevys no matter what. But other than the paint, they're awesome. But yeah, I mean, overall, overall, these trucks they pull good, they push good. You know, they're uh, they're pretty comfortable driving. And uh, yeah, we have uh, lots going on. We're gonna pick it up one more pickup before spring. We're also looking at a quad axle dump truck. So if you know much about quad axle dump trucks, if you had experience with Ken we're looking at Kenworth or Peterbilt, let me know in the comments below um, what you would suggest. And uh, let me know let me know what your favorite pickup truck is, what brand, what model, what size, what color, what what uh, what works good for you and your business. A ton of stuff coming up in the spring, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for sticking to the end of this one with me. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. That really helps me out. And go make your dreams a reality.